Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of microwave engineering. In today's session, we are going to learn about tuning screws and posts. Okay. So before getting into the concept of tuning screws and posts, we need to know what are these particular screws and what are these particular posts and how they are penetrated or inserted into the waveguides. Okay. So if you see over here, this particular uh, pipe-like structure are called as posts and Clearly, you can observe a screw over here in both the cases, which is penetrating into the waveguides. Okay, these screws are nothing but considered as tuning screws. Okay, in both cases, it can be a post or screws. What's happening is both posts and screws are penetrated into that particular waveguide, based on which we are taking some reactants. One is like inductive reactants. And another one is like capacitive reactants. So at which point a particular inductive reactance is considered and at which point that particular capacitive reactance is considered, we are going to see now, okay? See, suppose uh, when a post or a screw, okay, that only penetrates partially or uh, less than half of the height of the waveguide or are partially okay so we can consider it as a shunt capacitive resistance okay as it has not uh, fully penetrated into that particular waveguide we are just considering it as an uh, capacitive reactance okay in both cases both in the both cases of posts as well as screws uh, screws okay so suppose when a post or a screw is completely penetrated into the waveguide either from the top or from the bottom okay will be considering that particular post or screw will be acting at the inductive reactants. Okay, that is what we are considering this. If you see over here, as uh, it is slightly penetrated post and screws, you can see the capacitive reactants. And if they are fully penetrated into the waveguide, we can see the inductive reactants. So the capacitive reactants is given as C and the inductive reactants is given as, okay, L. Okay, so what are these actually screws? So these screws are fitted to or coupled to the waveguides. Okay, so these are uh, penetrated into the waveguides either from the top of the waveguide or from the bottom of the waveguide. So this is the real time image of this particular uh, tuning screws with respect to the waveguide. And this is the 2D image what you see over here. And the distance between each and every screw will be somewhat like a lambda by four, okay? So you can also consider with respect to lambda G by four, okay? So instead of considering lambda by four, you can also consider it as lambda G by four, where lambda G is nothing but the guide wavelength, okay? So that particular uh, uh, length of the wave with respect to the screws distances, okay? So a screw is generally inserted into the top or from the bottom of the waveguide. And that is also parallel to the electric field lines, okay? So whatever the screw is inserted from the top or the bottom, it is actually parallel to the uh, flow of this particular electric field lines, okay? So it can give a variable amount of susceptance. So what is this particular susceptance? We are going to see now. So based on the depth of the penetration, as we have discussed earlier, this particular screws, if at all it is less or minimum penetrated into the waveguide, it will be considering with respect to the capacitive susceptance. And uh, if at all it is fully penetrated or uh, three-fourth uh, is penetrated, we will be considering it as inductive uh, susceptance. Now, here, with respect to what uh, a barrier we are considering this particular uh, screw, whether it is fully uh, inserted or uh, partially inserted means with respect to a value of lambda by four, okay? Suppose, uh, suppose let us say, this is the value, the midpoint uh, of a waveguide, what we are considering is, let us say, it is lambda by four or the lambda G by four, okay? Suppose if a screw uh, after the insertion, the distance of this particular screw is less than the lambda by four, okay? So is less than half of this particular uh, waveguide, okay, distance with respect to the distance, 
we can blindly say that uh, it, it will be acting as a capacitive susceptance or, or the capacitive uh, reactance. Okay. Suppose, uh, let us say the screw has reached equally to the lambda 4, that is half of the distance of the waveguide. Okay. So, we can say that that particular uh, screw is uh, with respect to or behaving like a series resonance. Now, let us say the screw which is penetrated is crossing and also fully penetrated into the waveguide, let us say. Okay. Now, uh, that means we can consider it as that particular screw uh, is greater than the lambda g by 4 or the guide wavelength uh, lambda by 4. Okay. So, now we can uh, clearly say that it produces or behaves like a inductive susceptance. Okay. And this is the real time image what you can see over here. So, it completely depends on the penetration and how far this particular post or screw gets penetrated. Based on that, we are uh, evaluating that it will be working with respect to uh, either capacitive uh, susceptance or series resonance or the inductive uh, susceptance. Now, generally, what is this particular susceptance? So, susceptance is a combination of this particular capacitive reactance as well as inductive reactance. So, this particular capacity or inductive reactants, as we have already discussed, what it is depending on, depending on the penetration level of the particular post or a screw within the waveguide, right? So, whenever it is partially penetrated, we are considering it as capacitive nature. And uh, whenever it is fully penetrated, we, we are considering it as inductive nature. So, that's why based on the screw depth, lambda by 4, okay, with respect to lambda by 4, we are calculating the susceptance okay so if at all if at all the screw depth is less than lambda by 4 over here okay lambda by 4 we are considering that particular behavior is in capacitive nature okay so if at all the screw depth is greater than the lambda by 4 we are uh, clearly saying that it is having an inductive nature so based on these two nature we are uh, making it as an uh, feature of susceptance. So, susceptance includes both capacitive nature as well as inductive nature. Okay. Now, let's see what are these posts. So, as we have already discussed, posts also behave same like a screw uh, mechanisms or the screw concept, but the designing will be somewhat different. It will be having a cylindrical pipeline structure. So, they are introduced into the side of the waveguides. Uh, okay, so which, which will be having similar effect, same like in capacity or in inductive reactants uh, with respect to that particular uh, point. Okay, so when this particular force get uh, extended and uh, go through or penetrate through this particular uh, waveguide, obviously, as we have already discussed, it will be parallel to an electric field. Okay, and if it is uh, not yet fully penetrated into the waveguide, it will be. Uh, uh, it will be behaving like with respect to a capacitive susceptance and if that is fully penetrated, it will be behaving like an inductive susceptance with respect to that particular post. Okay. If you see the diagram over here clearly, so this is a particular rectangular waveguide in which two posts are already penetrated. Okay. So both the posts, if we see clearly, they are penetrated from the bottom itself. Okay. So, if you see the post one, this has not yet fully penetrated. That means the penetration of this particular post is less than lambda by 4, which is nothing but uh, considered as the penetration depth. Okay. Now, as it is less than lambda by 4, it will be behaving with respect to an uh, capacitive susceptance. Okay. Now, if you see this particular uh, post over here, this is almost fully penetrated from one end of the wall of the waveguide to another end of the wall. So, that's why we can clearly say that it has exceeded the value of lambda by 4, which is nothing but the penetration level or the lambda g by 4. Now, we can clearly say that it behaves an inductive uh, susceptance, where susceptance brings out the both capacitive nature as well as inductive nature. Okay.